Welcome to Dweller of the Dark. We are a channel honoring the yellowed and blackened bones of many prominent authors. We will be digging up several obscure, strange, and forgotten authors who influenced many of the great horror, science fiction, and fantasy writers today. More tales of the horrifying, obscure, strange, and forgotten are climbing out of the tombs. Subscribe, comment, like, donate, or I'll send the devil of black by you to rip your head off as we did the like button. Unknown horror masters, send us ghoulish delights for the skull and bones collection. Your pound of writer's flesh will feed our ghouls for now. Books, albums, websites in the links below. Children of horror, legion of ghouls. The season of Halloween has arrived. Each night, we will present a tale, song, or poem in the ghoulish spirit of the season. For day two of the Halloween celebration, we present H.P. Lovecraft's Halloween in a Suburb and Nemesis. Devilishly devoted to horror and Halloween, may your souls always be. Halloween in a Suburb by H.P. Lovecraft First published in 1926 The steeples are white in the wild moonlight And the trees have a silver glare Past the chimneys high, see the vampires fly And the harpies of upper air That flutter and laugh and stare For the village dead to the moon outspread Never shone in the sunset's gleam but grew out of the deep that the dead years keep where the rivers of madness stream down the gulfs to a pit of dream a chill wind weaves through the rows of sheaves in the meadows that shimmer pale and comes to twine where the headstones shine and the ghouls of the churchyard wail for harvests that fly and fail not a breath of the strange great gods of change that tore from the past its own can quicken this hour when a spectral power spreads sleep o'er the cosmic throne and looses the vast unknown so here again stretch the veil and plain that moons long forgotten saw and the dead leap gay in the pallid ray sprung out of the tomb's black maw to shake all the world with awe and all that the morn shall greet forlorn the ugliness and the pest of rose where thick rise the stone and brick shall some day be with the rest and brood with the shades unblessed then wild in the dark let the lemurs bark and the leprous spires ascend for new and old alike in the fold of horror and death are pinned for the hounds of time to rend. Nemesis by H.P. Lovecraft First published in 1917 Through the ghoul-guarded gateways of slumber past the way mooned abysses of night I have lived o'er my lives without number. I have sounded all things with my sight. And I struggle and shriek ere the daybreak, being driven to madness with fright. I have whirled with the earth at the dawning, when the sky was a vaporous flame. I have seen the dark universe yawning, where the black planets roll without aim, where they roll in their horror unheeded, without knowledge or luster or name. I have drifted o'er seas without ending under sinister gray clouded skies that the many forked lightning is rending that resound with hysterical cries with the moans of invisible demons that out of the green water rise. I have plunged like a deer through the arches of the hoary primordial grove where the oaks feel the presence that marches 
and stalks on where no spirits dares rove. And I flee from a thing that surrounds me and leers through dead branches above. I have stumbled by cave riddled mountains that rise barren and bleak from the plain. I have drunk of the frog fetid fountains that ooze down to the marsh and the main. And in hot cursed tarns, I have seen things I care not to gaze on again. I have scanned the vast ivy clad palace. I have trod its untenanted hall, where the moon riding up from the valleys shows the tapestry things on the wall. Strange figures discordantly woven that I cannot endure to recall. I have peered from the casement in wonder at the moldering meadows around, at the many roof village laid under the curse of a grave girdled ground, and from rows of white urn carven marble, I listen intently for sound. I have haunted the tombs of the ages. I have flown on the pinions of fear, where the smoke belching Erebus rages, where the jackals loom snow-clad and drear, and in realms where the sun of the desert consumes what it never can cheer. I was old when the pharaohs first mounted the jewel-decked throne by the Nile. I was old in those epochs uncounted when I, and I only, was by and man, yet untainted and happy, dwelt in bliss on the far Arctic Isle. Oh, great was the sin of my spirit, and great is the reach of its doom. Not the pity of heaven can cheer it, nor can respite be found in the tomb. Down the infinite eons come beating the wings of unmerciful gloom. Through the ghoul-guarded gateways of slumber, past the wane moon abysses of night, I have lived over my lives without number. I have sounded all things with my sight, and I struggle and shriek ere the daybreak, being driven to madness with fright. Thank you for listening. Have a good night.